Hi everybody, this is Hector, Poppy, Castillo, from girlshapes.com. I just had to take four takes where I kept saying, this is Hector Castillo from poppy.com. <laughs> sounds like a porn site. Poppy.com, where Poppy fucks girls for you with his Latino <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> oh my God. All right, fuck it, we're moving on. So, this is a video about the six ways to be more confident with women. Let's get the basics out of the way, then we'll get to the six tips, right? Yes, you should look good. You should fucking get your fashion together, learn how to have a nice haircut, get some fucking jewelry on your hands and your ears, or your fucking, get a tattoo, get some, uh, get in shape, eat well so your skin looks good, so you're in good shape, uh, get your eyebrows waxed or trimmed or whatever fucking shit. Get, you know, shave your beard into a cool, you know, thing. I, I can't do it because I don't have a... I'm a beard, but that's just life. Um, that's the normal stuff, right? Also, you have the life stuff, like get, you know, uh, focus on your passion and your mission and blah, 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 fuck. Okay, yes, it's not wrong. It just doesn't have shit to do with fucking girls, okay? Are girls attracted to guys who have their, their grooming down and their fashion down? And then they, they have a purpose and a life mission, yes. But this not, does not guarantee you're gonna get girls. Cause I know and I have fucking coached men who have all their fucking shit together. And guess what? They're not getting pussy. Getting pussy is helped by being attractive and having a cool life where you're doing a bunch of cool things. But getting women with the skill of seduction is a very separate, unique skill. So what I'm gonna focus on and what I always hope to focus on on this channel is very simple practical tips that have to do with getting girls, not just general self-improvement tips, but very specific girl-based getting tips, okay? So first tip to becoming more confident with women is start approaching more women, simple, duh. But when you're approaching a lot of girls, what happens is you're not gonna be focused on one particular girl because you're gonna have something or you're gonna be building something called abundance and abundance mentality. So abundance means I have a bunch of girls in my life. Abundance mentality means I know I can have a bunch of girls in my life based on the life that I'm living and my skills of getting women, right? Those both take time. If you have a bunch of women in your life, you have two or three girls you can see every week or even more, you're gonna be so fucking chill with girls. You're like, hey, what's up girl, blah, blah, blah. You don't get rejected? Hey, cool, I know I'm getting laid tomorrow night because Chiquetita Linda is coming over to suck my dick, right? Also, I got a girl on Sunday. So you know what, if I go out on Friday night and I don't pull any bitches, it's fine. I'm getting laid on Sunday, it's cool, great. I'm getting pussy. That's going to be helping you with your confidence with this particular girl. Because if you just think about it as like a Riemann sum, if you want to be mathematical and really nerdy, it's just a bunch of different things being added together. And then at the end, you have some grand result that is your sex life. But if you add up every little detail, all it is is this girl plus this girl plus this girl plus this girl plus this girl. So every specific girl needs to be identified in her own unique set. So with this particular girl, maybe it doesn't go well, but because you know you have these many approaches that you still have left to do, you don't know. Maybe you get rejected on this approach just off the bat. Hey, what's up? Ugh. Okay, whatever, I'll move on. Go to the next one. Hey, what's up, oh my God, hey, thank you so much for the compliment, nice to meet you. Got it, okay. So by approaching a lot of different girls, you're gonna create or at least start the process and get past the inertia of not being confident with women because you're just gonna have so many women coming into your life because you're gonna know, and this is true, I promise you, all my clients, if you continually approach girls, you're going to get results. You could be the weirdest motherfucker in the world. But if you're approaching girls consistently and you're, you're adapting and, and changing your strategy and your expressions based on your past results, you're going to get action. It is a 99.9% .9 certainty that if you're going out and approaching girls, you're going to get some sort of action based on your skill level. And you never know what's gonna happen. That girl that you approach next after this one could be your next girlfriend, could be your wife, could be the mother of your children, or could just be some hot sex for that night but it, you're gonna get results. So start approaching women and these, this one rejection and this rejection and this rejection or this close call, it's all gonna drown in the ocean of pussy that you're bringing into your life, okay? So next, I'm reading my notes here, spend more time around women, right? So this is an evolution of that. So you're approaching women, but now just start spending more time with them. So you're getting numbers, you're texting them, you have girls texting you, this is gonna give you the confidence of, Okay, you know, 
I didn't get laid with this girl or this girl stopped responding, but hey, I have these two other girls responding to me. So this is built by approaching women or having a life or winner around you because you're out partying a lot, you have a big social circle, whatever it is. And by spending more time with them over text and in person as well, even if you're just going on dates, even if you go on five dates in a row and you don't fuck any of them, and I've had that happen, where you just go boom, 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 and you just can't lay them, at least you still have women around you. And I have a lot of guys, and I did the same thing, where I was really pushing hard and I was getting all these dates and all this attraction and all these women who were very interested in me. But because I didn't fuck them, I was like, oh, okay, you know, uh, I'm not good with girls, blah, blah, blah. But here's all these girls who are willing to go on a date with you. Usually, with some exceptions of like gold diggers or a girl who's just looking for a distraction or just a friend, most of the time, if a girl is willing to go on a date with you, she's at least considering you as a sexual partner. So if you're having some sort of action where you're going on a date or hanging out with a girl, that means that girls are interested in having sex with you and this should give you confidence. So you can start to see the pattern here. To gain real confidence with women just means having fucking women around you and texting you and going on dates with you. That's the real hint. You're not just gonna go, I'm confident with women because I watched this video or read this book. That's not how it fucking works. And if anyone promises you that or suggests that this might be true, they're a liar and they're selling you snake oil. And they're just trying to make money off of your fucking stupidity. And I'm here to tell you that's not how it works. You have to be actually spending time with women to get confident with them. You can't get confident at fighting if you don't get in some fucking fights or if you don't go in the ring or you're not taking boxing lessons. You can convince yourself that you're a good fighter, but then when you actually scrap on someone who has some hands or some feetsies, then you're gonna fucking get your shit rocked. Same thing, oh, I'm good with women and confident with women. And then you go and approach that first girl and she rejects you and you're like, no. Right, you watch one of our videos or some other video and you're like, okay, I'm pumped. I'm gonna go meet some women, huh? And then you go and they get rejected, you're like, boo. That's because you were just riding off of the dopamine. You were just riding the wave of whatever motivation I gave you or someone else gave you. And that's usually what people are selling you. What I'm selling you is a process. I'm selling you something that's real and you gotta put some work into it and you gotta, fucking bleed and sweat and cry, but it gives you the real fucking results. So if you're looking for a quick fix and that somehow you're gonna be confident after you watch this video, go fuck yourself. I'm not gonna lie to you, that's fucking bullshit. I'd rather have 1,000 viewers who fucking get the shit than a million viewers who are just thinking that somehow I'm gonna give them confidence. Not how it works. So go out and approach them and have them around you. Back to my list. <laughs> Go socialize more, okay? So this is half girls, half people in general, guys. Right, it's just guy girls. <laughs> so you're spending time with women or you're spending time with people? Because what's gonna happen is you're spending time with people and you're becoming a king of the people or a prince of the people. And then what you're doing is you're getting those positive emotions from socializing and you're warming up. And because you're warming up, you're getting this momentum and this, um, this you're, you're going past the inertia of, it's always that inertia. It's that getting the roll, the ball, the roll, the roll balling, the ball rolling. Yeah, the ball, the ball rolls. The roll doesn't ball or does it? I don't know, but you get the ball rolling because you're socializing, you're hanging out with people and you're getting some traction. And so you're hanging out with your boys beforehand, before you go out to party, you guys are drinking, you guys are you know, playing games, playing FIFA, playing Mortal Kombat, whatever that shit is, you know? And you're, you're getting excited to go and socialize, right? So when you go to the bar, you're already social, you're socially lubricated. That's going to get you started, right? So when you are social in general, what you do is you just switch from social in general to social and sexual. Because when, when you're with your boys, it's just social. But then when you're talking to girls, what you're doing is you're just adding how do you talk to your boys, but then now you're adding the element of sexuality because it's a girl that you wanna have sex with. And so you have half the element if you're socially lubricated and you're being social. And what this is, is not just before you go to the party and, and you have a pre-party, it's are you social in general? When you walk up to, to get your food at the at the restaurant, are you, hey, 
uh, can I have this? Can I have this? Or are you like, uh, can I have this one and this one? Be social. Hey, what's up? Can I have this? Yeah, okay, blah, blah, blah. How's your day going? Oh, it's going good. Okay, cool. Blah, blah, blah. People want to be cared about and to be paid attention to. Everyone's so lonely. Everyone's so fucking miserable. I see it and I hear it. I have dozens of people message me a day on how lonely they are and how how unhappy they are with, with their social life. But if there's someone in their life who is giving them light and value and love and attention, that changes things. And you wanna be that guy. You wanna be the guy who's having fun and who's making them feel paid attention to. And so if you just take that momentum and then add the sexuality to it, then you're more confident with women. Simple tip. Okay, this one's fun. <laughs> I was talking to a buddy, um, few years back and we were talking about girls and he's good with girls and he just kind of laughed at me he's like you know sometimes i get intimidated with by women and this is a guy who is like really successful with girls he was like but you know what i always remember i remember that that girl walking down the street has had a dick in her mouth <laughs> and he's like that usually solves all my problems i just imagine her she's a bad bitch walking with her nice clothes and confident strut and she's all fucking meh, meh, meh. But I know that at some point in her life she was choking on a fucking dick. Kind of makes you take her less seriously, doesn't I'm not denigrating or slut shaming, so fuck you if you're gonna say that. But what I'm doing is I'm saying that she has been sexual with someone and that someone could be you, right? Someone's fucking someone. The hottest, baddest bitch in the world is fucking someone. Why can't that be you? Now, if you want to get there, that might take some work, right? This ponytail is making it rough. But if you can somehow become that guy, then that's you. So imagine and visualize, visualize that she's had a dick in her mouth. And that should lower some of that putting her on a pedestal that you're doing, that nervousness. That's what I love to do. I just, I look at a girl and I'm like, oh, she's pretty hot. And I'm like, she probably got fucked the other night. Just imagine her on her fucking knees, just getting dick from behind. Just fucking, ah, 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 ah. or just like, oh, 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 oh. like very visually, very viscerally visualize it. And then you're not going to be that nervous because you're going to know that someone's fucking her and that someone could be you. Because she's a girl and she likes dick. All girls love dick. Most girls love dick. 99% of them love dick. Count your successes. Yes, this one. So, there's a certain thing called imposter syndrome where you can get really good at something but you kind of feel like you didn't really deserve it. And I've, I had that for a long time. I kind of got over it recently um, in the past year-ish. Um, but you can be overly harsh on yourself sometimes. Even if you're super new though, right? So you don't have a lot of success to show. If you even just get a phone number, get fucking excited about that shit. Count your successes. If you just kiss a girl, man, I kissed a girl, oh my God. Ah, ah. That'll make you more confident because all confidence means is I have comfort in a specific area, right? You could be really good at <clears throat> programming in a specific language, like on your phone. But then when you move to another programming language, like Java or I don't know, fucking C++ or something, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, I'm not comfortable here. This is, this is not an environment that I'm really comfortable Maybe you're good at boxing, but you suck at kicking. Or you're good at striking, but you're bad at wrestling. Maybe you're good at football, but you're bad at American football, right? There's always specific areas which you're confident in. To be overall confident in life is a pretty rare thing. Um, usually the only people who are super confident in life are people who are either amazing at one particular field or they're amazing at a lot of particular fields or good at a lot of particular fields. And then they just grabbed this kind of general core confidence that they're that they can become good at something, right? But true confidence is just simply the comfort in knowing that you can, with relative consistency and probability, achieve a decent amount of results in X field. So specifying our confidence within the department of girls, you're going to become more confident in that if you become comfortable with the fact that you've made it this far, this far, this far, this far. So if you're new, just the fact that you approached a girl should be considered a success. 
And the, or if you're a little bit further, the fact that you can kiss a girl is a little bit more successful. The, the, the fact that you can get a date, the fact that you can get laid, the fact that you can get laid once a month or twice a week, whatever it is, the fact that you can have some success should make you feel like, okay, I'm here. Then maybe I can get here and then maybe I can get here. But a lot of guys probably you're like, I wanna be here, but I'm here and then I'm not confident because I'm not here. Bro, take it easy. And I get it because I'm super ambitious and I'm super self-abusive when it comes to my my drive. And I'm just like, I gotta be better, and better, and better. But if I have to give you some insight on, on like 10 years of fucking doing this, it's just, like, just enjoy the fucking process. You're gonna have such a better time and it's gonna actually create a positive feedback loop where you're gonna be more successful because you're having fun and enjoying yourself along the way. Right? Something like this with YouTube, for instance, you know? Uh, I'm still growing and we're in and maybe in three years you're gonna see this video and be like oh shit He blew up right but right now. We're still kind of like growing right. We only have like 3,000 subscribers But I know from getting good at so many different things. I know it's just a process So I get I get happy when I get a couple comments or a couple likes She's like yeah, you know I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm getting better You just grow and grow and grow and that's gonna make you more confident and create this feedback loop where you just consolidate your gains Bring it up, consolidate your games, bring it up. Boom, 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 boom. And then you look back five years later and you're at the top and you're king, you're prince, Prince Bobby. Okay. Last tip. This one's pretty straightforward, but it's honestly the best way. So you know how the first tip was approaching girls, right? So you can get abundance mentality, the idea that you can bring a bunch of girls into your life. This one's the real shit. Just be fucking bitches. This is, this is, Probably sounds like, whoa, I can't even fuck her, so. Look, if you're fucking girls, you're just gonna have such a confidence that it can't be described. You won't know it until you're doing it, right? So I know that if I really wanted to get laid, I can call a couple girls right now and probably get laid. If I wanted to get laid this week, I could probably call a handful, right? If I wanted to get laid in the next month, I could call a couple handful. I can make it happen because I have the history and the success and, 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 and I can bring new girls into it because I know I can approach girls and get them into my bed. So if you're fucking girls, there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing that can replace that. There is something magical and special about the fact that you're fucking a lot of girls and the fact that you know you can fuck a lot of girls. So there's abundance mentality, knowing you can fuck a lot of girls and there's an actual abundance and that's you are currently fucking girls and nothing beats abundance, nothing. It's amazing. It fills you with your, it raises your testosterone. It raises your confidence. It raises your, your, your love of life because you're just on this fucking momentum and you're on this, this track and you're just going and going and going. And the more you get, the more you can get because women just fucking love a guy who's succeeding and who's getting bitches. And it can just mean fucking one girl. Let's say you fuck one girl this week or this month. That could make you that extra five to 10% confidence that you need to fuck two girls the next month and then three and then four. That's real confidence. I'm not selling you snake oil. I'm not selling you some bullshit, pseudo intellectual, nebulous garbage. That's not actually gonna help you. That's just gonna give you some dopamine. Like, oh, I'm confident now. No, this is the real confidence. This is the real shit. So go get your fucking dick wet and then you're gonna get more confident enough to get it more wet and have five different girls pussy juices on your dick. And that's really gonna get you 10 more pussy juices on your dick because that's how it fucking works. Cool. All right, this is Hector Castillo from girlshades.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Follow me on social media, Instagram right here and right here. Also check out my King of College book. It's dope as fuck. It's in the description and I will see you very fucking soon. Bye.